first final day of the season in the 2010-11. Kent Turing have secured their place in the 2011-12 season. Southport needs just a point to stay with them. That's its 20th versus 15th. Or 15th versus 20th given to the home side. As Southport are desperate for at least a point here. Kettering half for the visitors. They're cutting Mugen with the ball. Kevin Lee now going back into the squad after injury. Martin McNeil being held down right on the edge of the area. Early chance for the visitors. No kiss off for Southport in the starting 11. He scored a fantastic. Free kick for them at Hague Avenue in their 1 1 draw recently with Darlington. Looks like Matty McNeil, Matty McGinn will take this one. Just a foot outside the penalty box. Matty McGinn to strike with his left foot. And they take an early advantage, and it goes by Matty Mac. Again, and it's off the crossbar. Some Southport fans started to celebrate prematurely. Go on, JP! MacDonald. Left foot across from the player on the other side of the pitch. For O'Neill. Four in the box. Marno almost gets there. And it's seen forward by Clinton. He'll be in the first corner of the match. Southport player. Liam McDonald will take it. Six, seven red shirts in there now. Slide into the heart of the box. Turn up. Season out. It's the way first time towards Daly. McNeil and Wally for Southport. Kelly. What's required of him? Williams. Picked away by Mac Mac Tony McMillan. Good save after redeeming himself. It's still there. It's a bench for him. A back of the left eye out of Tony Pennington. That's not a strange celebration from Kettering Falk players. That's a crucial blow for Southport's hopes of staying. First attempt, but it was there for top end opening in. Southport had a terrible away record, winning only two on the road. First victory was their first away day in Kidderminster. What a bad, bad pass. Southport all over the place at the moment. Sent away by Turner. Indicates there was a foul, but Catherine had the ball. on it to send it away, Roper, you can see in space in the middle of the park, sends it towards Marner, on it, almost two, it's another corner, Southport just got a touch on it, McDonald, plenty of teammates to find inside the box, and it's a free header! And it's over the crossbar. Poor defend once again from Southport. As that could have easily been number two for Kettering. Yeah. Yeah. 
Here, substitution had to be made, and also the scoreline isn't favourable to them. McNeil trying to change it here. Worley whips it in towards the far post, and it's over the crossbar by the substitute Ledson. It's going to be a substitution straight away in this second half. And Nick McCoy is replacing. Brett Salkon, the captain. So you sure who's got the captain's armband. Mugen for Southport. Daly. Daly got the crucial goal at the Lamb. Seven days ago. Go. Wally. For Turner, nice little ball. Alan Turner, Daly takes a touch, and it's a touch too much. As Mugen has a shot, Wally now looking for a safe goal of the season, and he wasn't far wide. Encouraging signs for the Southport fans. Marner, Williams, McNeil, Daly will collect this one. Flanagan can't. Stop his progress as he tries to curl it inside the far post. Fails to keep it in play. Lee will take this one. Southport. Still facing relegation in the face inside the box towards Daly. Comes to Wally. Just need that point to secure their place. O'Neill comes inside, gets a good delivery in. Penalty to catch him. A handball was there. I think it was from Williams. But this is not what Southport need. Southport fans suddenly go quiet. As Tony McMillan now faces a penalty. McDonald has the ball. Marno wants to take it for his 20th goal of the season. It looks like it will be the Frenchman to take. Another critical moment in the... Southport history. Can Macmillan deny Marner? JP Marner strikes it and it's off the post. And Southport come away with it. Uh, so it looks like Southport have scored from the celebrations behind. You see he's got a look at those celebrations as JP Marner fails to find his 20th goal of the season. Substitution here. JP Marner won't get his 20th goal of this season as he's being replaced by number 28, Kieran St. Amy. Being so close to that goal number 20 as he had that penalty. So he's going to find only the right hand post of Black Villains. It's almost in, a great save by Buzzy. Just keeps it out of the goal line to come back in. Paul lets him. Southport eager to finish the season in style with a victory. To, towards Daly, you couldn't get, connect to that one properly. O'Neill. With the throw in. Mills. It. Mills, decent cross in, comes to an unmarked McDonald. Cunnington, four down, three.
Towards it to Kettering. So fourth have kept a penalty away. Can they keep this dangerous free kick away? McDonald and another. this evening. Southport faced relegation if they lost. Last thing stands. They are still okay. Could be McGinn to strike. He of course found the crossbar with this early free kick. Thousand four hundred and three to witness this match. With Southport to hope it's enough for them to stay in this league. Can McGinn find a little bit lower than the crossbar with this one, it's a little bit further out. As it goes to goal, the wall does its job, handball, flies from the Matthew again, and moving, in, not given by Wigglesworth, as it's a break of field by Kettering, can they make it 3-1? No, that's straight at Tony McMillan, who could have wrapped up the points for Kettering. And to end stuff, will finish this league season off here at Rockingham Road. Edson looks for Matty McNeil, he will get it on to the end of it. Just holds it up, finds Kissoff. Kissoff down again, has the ball still as he enters the box. John Paul Kissick outside of his foot. As a Kettering player got to the on it. Big drama here, Southport really need that point to secure their place. Yes, it won't be a free kick this time for Kettering. These two sides rarely do a dull match. Tom Kettering 1 2 1 at Haig Avenue in October, and as things stand, they're all winning this one on the same scoreline. Away by Lever. McNeil heads it towards Matam again. Again towards Daly. Wally for seconds, oh it's a whisper wide. It'll be a corner. Somebody got a very important shot on it from Kettering's point of view. Kiss off with it. Right into the sky, lets him. The best of touches. Wally towards Davis, but it'll be closer to Kelly. Now for Kettering, three to find, unmarked. And it's there! It's the substitution from Chandler who gets Kettering third. And Southport are really desperate to know what's happening in the lab now. got back into it when Sean Worley got his eighth goal of the season and it looked like that point would be enough for Southport to stay up but two late goals gave Kettering victory firstly a great free kick from O'Neill gave Kettering the lead then John Chandler wrapped up the three points with three goals late on 
Southport will be looking at the result at the land. The last I heard, it was 2-1 to Tamworth. I don't know what it is at the moment, but if that one stays the same, Southport stay up. But if Forest Green got back into the match and drew, Southport are now relegated. I think they are on the pitch waiting for that result. The Southport players, but in this match at the Rogan Road, on the final day of the 2010-11 season, it has finished Kettering Town 3, Southport 1.